guys, I'm Shane. Hey, I'm Trevor. You're watching Project Greenberg. So I left you a note that said I wish you well. Said it was me, so don't blame yourself. I think a new start is what I need. I'll grow and find the road to Now, you guys released the EP back in the beginning of January, I believe January 8th or something like that. Um, is this uh, since then you guys have been doing some local shows right around the area? You did uh, the run with Further Suits Forever. Yeah, yeah. What have you guys been doing in kind of your off time? Is there you know side work? Is this like a full time? Like uh, what's what's Future Burger been up to? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, Trev and I have been pretty busy um, doing a lot of studio recording okay. for for some other bands. And we've been doing a lot of writing and kind of trying to get the writing there and ready to, to get in and do a full length and I think we're pretty close. We're going to jump in as soon as we can and, and get it out to everybody. But uh, the new stuff, that we're really excited about it. I mean, it's kind of a step outside our, our normal box, you know. We're, we're trying out some new things. Um, I, you know, I'm really happy with them. I'm really excited for everybody to kind of hear what we've been up to. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's not that, like, pressure as much as there was when you're in, like, a full-time band. But this, I still consider this full time band. Right. It's just uh, we're a little older now, and obviously, you know, you gotta kind of live your life by your means, and uh, I think that's kind of what we're doing right now. But as soon as we get this full length out, I think it's gonna be a big step for us, and then, then that's kind of what we're gonna really get going. I mean, the EP was never supposed to be something that we were gonna constantly hit the road right. with. It was kind of like say, hey, we're working on this project, you know, and we have a great lineup with Trap and Will, and it's just, you know, trying to get the name out there and let people know that there's going to be stuff coming out. Now, you guys still uh, working with Will? I mean, he's, he's got a hectic schedule. Yeah, I mean, Will's, just... Will's the man. <laughs> you, can't, you can't not have a, a drummer like that. Right. Um, but he is really busy. He's in the band fun, right? Obviously, a lot of people know that. And uh, we take it as as we can get it there. Right. Much, you know, so he's he's really cool about it. He understands, you know, that he's he's got a job to do and that's his thing and like but when he's home we're we're jamming and doing good stuff and recording. We all separate all three of us separately record, so okay. yeah, that's the beauty of the internet. Is right. Kind of we'll record like a drum track to a scratch that we might have done at his house. And then I'll send it to me and I might lay some stuff down and pass it to Trevor try to lay some stuff down. So, you know, it makes sense. Now, you said you've been doing studio work. Do you guys, uh, like, write songs for other people? Or is it more, you know, playing guitar on an album? Or? Well, kind of more along the lines of engineering. Okay. Um, Recording bands. Or... I, I currently work for an organization called BMG, which is a music publishing company. And uh, so I do kind of a lot of the songwriting stuff for other people sometimes. But for the most part, I'm, I'm recording, Chuck's recording, and it's just... Kind of whatever comes in, we'll do. But production stuff. Yeah, we love finding new bands and like really, you know, working with them and trying to grow them. We actually just recently did a, a project for this uh, guy Rob Lynch, who's from the UK. Okay. And we're wrapping that up as we speak. And uh, we're actually really excited about that record because that's it's, the songs are really cool. Great songs. Pretty, great song. pretty yeah. happy. That was really our first kind of co production, okay. engineering, yeah, co, co. Aside from our own stuff. Right. Now, when you're doing like the songwriting aspect for other people, uh, obviously you're a Petty fan, both of you. Uh, you saw you saw the running down a dream, the, the oh, four yeah. hour. Uh, there's the parts where he's with Stevie and he, he goes and steals the song and runs to the, you know the other room <laughs> and records it. Uh, is that something you ever you know? Damn it, I gave away a good song, or I love that bridge that I wrote for them, or <laughs> damn it. You, you know, know that's, that's a really funny point that you bring up. Uh, there's times where I'll feel like I kind of give away some certain nuggets that I kind of wish I, I was like. I shouldn't say that myself, but I mean, you know, the beautiful thing about songwriting is like you can just be creative. And if you give a good idea away, there's always another one coming up. Always, yeah. It, it, I, you know, I don't think it's a, a pit that's gonna dry up. Yeah. Like sometimes you gotta make it work. You know, you gotta work it a little bit. But, um, it'll, it'll definitely, yeah. Like you said, there's more ideas to come. It, feel, it feels good to me when somebody uses an idea of that, you know what I mean? So it's, it's not like I can say, oh man, give me that back. It's, like, it's more like, more power to you. You're not running to the other studio and uh, yeah, like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs>
Now, uh, also, uh, a lot, it seems like a lot of artists are doing this. You know, Andrew McMahon kind of went solo recently, and the same with you know with you guys, Shane, and leaving Valencia. Do you feel uh, this is kind of? I mean, you have all this freedom now. You get to do whatever you want, put it out whenever you want. Is, it, is that kind of why you left the whole uh, you know band thing? Or the, well, the band thing. I mean, you know, I, if if I was given the chance, I would do it all over. Again. Okay. I mean, I loved it. It was great. Uh, but there comes a time in every band's career where I think it's time that they, they step back and kind of realize that maybe they're not at the level that they may, might, may have used to be at. Mm. And, you know, taking a break doesn't necessarily mean you're never going to come back to it. Right. It just means, like, let's let it sit for a while and let people miss us. And then when they're ready, we'll come right. back and we'll be full steam ahead again. Yeah. So it's not like that, but the freedom is pretty, pretty sweet. <laughs> I mean, it, it's nice to, like, not have five different people in a room, and just have like the two of us, Will, and uh, it just, it, it's weird because it's like, when you're in a band with four or five other songwriters, everybody's always fighting for their part. I mean, it's not like an aggressive fighting kind of thing, but it's like, no, I, you know, it's just the occasional fist fight. Yeah, there's the occasional, The like, beer bottle thrown. Right, yeah, but um, it's... It's important for a band to remember that like whatever's best for the song is what the song should be. And that's how I will have always gone about it. I dress like that. So it's like for the two of us to sit down in a room together, like if I throw out a crappy idea, Trevor will put me in my place. And I like that because it's like I need to hear that, that I'm maybe not up to par or something. You know? yeah, like, maybe you need the outside perspective. Right, right exactly. Not when you're here, what you're not. But at the same time, you can tell me that a part I wrote is awesome. It's like, which he tells me all the time. <laughs> now, the EP you worked with, uh, Bill, uh, did you work with again? Oh, yeah. Will, okay, yeah. yeah. Are you going to work with him again on the full length? Or? Hopefully. He's right. a super busy guy. Right. So it's kind of tough to kind of see, you know, where we're going to be when the full length's ready to go. But I, you know, I've talked to him about it numerous times, and I think Studio 4, the studio where we did it, is in Conchahokan. It's a beautiful studio. It's an amazing sound. We would like to, to be back and yeah, do it there. Great environment. But if that doesn't work, you know, through the whole eight years in Valencia, I've met a ton of great producers that I feel like we could do it justice. Um, this guy who actually did our Dancing with the Ghost records is Carlos right. De La Garza, and he's like doing major things now, which is crazy. He just did like the Paramount record. Right. He's doing the Jukebox the Ghost record. Um, there's another band I can't think of off the top of my head right now, but he's like really climbing the ladder. And I, I personally think he's a genius, so it'd be nice to like kind of get back in with him and do a record with him. So now for we'll, that, we'll see what happens. For that record, you went out to LA and yeah. did the whole thing. And this record, you guys kind of did here, you know, home turf. Yeah. Is that something you guys are exploring? Maybe going out a way to get a different. You know, it's funny. LA is like <laughs> when you're home, you have a lot of distractions. Yeah. So while it's comfortable and you can kind of like be yourself, you're still not really 100% focused on, there's always going to be things that kind of come up, and for us, like, getting out to LA was like a vacation, like, we were away from all the stress, we could just simply enjoy the weather and focus on the record that we're going to make, I think, like, doing a destination record is a good way to really bond, and to, to really get into the project, and like, really think about what you're going to do, and where are you going to take this? LA, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but um, also on the EP, it was kind of, uh, you know, Valencia was more of a, yeah, the earlier records had the more, you know, upbeat punk songs, yeah. and then uh, with the EP, kind of, more of the, uh, I'd say like a little petty, you know, the acoustic guitar, a lot, acoustic was used a lot more. Is that something you're going more for, Stu, or are you kind of going somewhere yeah, wacky? Yeah, I think, um, it was definitely uh, important for us to kind of try something new. Right. Um, the newer songs we're writing aren't necessarily like completely acoustic. There, there are some up tempo kind of stuff. I, I really want to just do something new. Right. Really, just be creative and try something that I've never done before. So we'll see what happens with it. But I've been getting really into like program beats okay. and, and stuff like that. And uh, so who knows? Maybe that could that could be a new direction mixed with what we've already done. Right kind of blend it together, maybe it'll go more up on. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, it takes, it takes experimenting, but 
I think, you know, what you're pointing out, kind of that there's elements on the EP that kind of speak more to a classic rock vibe. Right. Very Americana. Yeah, we definitely, I mean, we're kind of blending totally feeling that um, on the EP, for sure. But with the new stuff, I think it's like not pigeonholing ourselves to a certain thing, and like really allowing ourselves. If, we're, if we want one song to be an R&B song and another song to be a country song, then so be it. I mean, like, we're gonna do what we love to do, and that's just play music. So whatever comes out is gonna come out, and I, I know for a fact I'm gonna be proud of it. Yeah, I mean, we're not gonna put something out that we're not confident and proud of yet. And then lastly, you guys are gearing up in uh, late May, early June to go out with the uh, yeah, yeah. tour. Your first kind of jump across the most of the states. Yeah, yeah. It'll be our first uh, yeah. actual tour. Right. That's gonna be full full band, or you yeah, yeah okay. it's gonna be full band. And uh, we've got our good friend Kyle from Hit the Lights coming out with us on bass, and uh, it's gonna be fun. First, I, I was really excited when Mark gave me the call. Like, I couldn't. I actually couldn't believe it because we we didn't even know that they were gonna do right. the tour. And he called me, and I forget where I I, I don't really remember where I was, but I, I just remember like what? Yeah, dude, of course. Like we'll be there. Yeah. Pretty I awesome. mean, it's awesome. Spitalfield's like one of those bands. that's like yeah. just it's Spitalfield. You yeah. Know what I mean, they're they're historic, and they paved the way for a lot of different bands. And Mark is one of the coolest, most down to earth dudes I've ever met. So. Expect some more stuff from, from all of us yeah. right. to come. It's not just the tour. All right, all right. And uh, speaking of that, you know, Mark and also you're playing with Matt tonight, yeah. Pryor and James. How is, uh, you know, in the past you've opened up for Blink and done crazy tours. What's it like being able to, you know, play a small show with Matt and go on a tour with Dude, Mark? And I, what do you pick up from that? You know? I can't even, like, explain it. I mean, if you ask, like, a 12 year old me if this was going to happen, like, I don't even, I, he probably shit his pants, like, I don't even... You're gonna open up for the get-up kids. Yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's an honor and a privilege, and um, I've seen Matt before, so, right. well, so, like, I know what he's capable of, and I know what songs sometimes he tends to whip out, and then I just, like, go back into that teenager mode where I'm just, like, all into it, not even focused on anything but what he's playing, and it's just awesome, I mean... I feel so blessed to have been able to share the stage with so many amazing artists. It's like bands that I like that have kind of shaped who I am and how I write. So it's just an honor.